What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Life of Cletus. Today, we are gonna go over my entire haul from San Diego Comic-Con 2019. This haul, this experience uh, was very stressful, very hard to get, but I was able to accomplish everything that I was sought after, even was able to pick up a Funko Pop for $12,000. We got Mezco's, we got SH Figure Arts, we got Hot Toys, we got Funko Pops, we got Fig Pins. Let's go. Please welcome Cletus! You have come here from all over the world because society has no further use for you. This place will now be your holding pen until your death. Because death is the only way out. First and foremost thing I'm going to talk about is the actual Comic Con. I am going to make a separate video on my thoughts of the con and of the boots as well. Um, these collectible figures are extremely hard to get. You had to win a lottery system or you had to pay for a secondary market uh, value, the black market basically, to be able to obtain, uh, obtain these figures. It's very hard to get these at the Comic Con. I want to give a huge shout out to Clyde from Brooklyn Geek. You, sir, are amazing. There is gonna be a giveaway just in this video because of him. Yeah, and we're gonna learn about that more at the end, so make sure you stick around. Before you actually go to the con, you're actually gonna to wanna to have some kind of game plan on what figures you're gonna want. I knew that some figures that I never actually collected, but I knew there was a lot of hype for it, I might have grabbed on it because it's a trending hype, you have no choice. Um, or because I liked the series and I knew I can get it and other people couldn't. Uh, starting out with this first. I don't think it actually sold out. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Van, it had the little sewer on top here that you could pull off and you got the turtle van on display. Uh, I think this is pretty cool. I might keep the display. I like this, how this comes out. Uh, this wasn't the only Hot Wheels figure I got. Um, I was able to get this as well. This was a one in 10 chance of being able to pull a gold figure. Um, I got the silver, it's the common version, and I think this cost about 20 bucks. The next thing I picked up was this, a QMX figure where Clyde from Brooklyn Geek told me that portion of the uh, sales actually goes to the charity uh, for this figure and I guess it's their dog I don't know if this is a mascot or what um, there was only 250 of these made and these were one of the figures that when you see certain collectors that you personally know that own stores going after and buying them you kind of go out there and buy them like that but uh, he's a cute little French bulldog he might be an English bulldog he's pretty cute He's gonna stay on the spike. Got our first fig pin. It was one of 750. Uh, shout out to Yoko, who is running that booth as well, and the rest of the fig pin team. I enjoyed having our dinner together and uh, discussing about um, future stuff and the going on down in the future. Something that I'm probably gonna give away. Um, it is the Black Series Sith Trooper uh, from the Hasbro booth check that out right there this is gonna be part of today's giveaway I think we might do more I don't know we're gonna see what's up we have our first exclusive Moon Knight from the Mezco booth I like that booth a lot uh, it was very hard to get into uh, the Jim Gordon sold out on the second day which is uh, ridiculous and you didn't need the actual lottery to purchase this by Friday which was Pretty nice. So this was the Moon Knight San Diego Comic Con exclusive. We have the Hasbro Boba Fett. This figure is one of the rarest ones from the con. Um, I'm believing because how simple it is to pick up the actual series and why they gave you guys the original damn figure with the original art. As a exclusive, are they crazy? Why would they do that? Um, I did not get this actually at the booth. 
I was looking online for the local marketplace on uh, Facebook to see one for sale. All the ranges were between $80 to $120. So when I went to the con the next day and I seen it sitting at the shop for $90 bucks cash, I paid them $90 bucks cash for it and picked it up. First Funko Pop. This was from the Funko exclusive booth. This is the Batman. Uh, this one was for Dan. This is the one he got. And uh, this is the 50th year anniversary. Uh, pretty cool. I love the bag. I love the style, what they did here. Our first SH figure arts. Should be three of these gonna be in this box. These are the first two. Uh, there is going to be a set that I am going to give away to you guys in a future video. As well as my favorite, and I called it way beforehand, and that is the Sun Goku. From the Dragon Ball Z line, Kid Goku himself. There's gonna be three of these. It's funny, when I was talking to the employees at the Bandai booth and I asked them, do people come up and complain if it doesn't have the paper over it? They go, yes, and we already know what the purpose of that is. The paper on it brings like $10 or finals worth of value. Ridiculous. One set I'm going to give to you guys and break those up in giveaways. Kid Goku is my favorite character. Followed up next with some Goku Black. One to stock, one to rock, one to give away. So that was the other part of the giveaway I'm gonna do. Uh, these figures, uh, this Goku Black figure is definitely rare and definitely on everybody's in search of if you are uh, collecting these SH figure arts. We only have two of these, so there's not gonna be a giveaway for this, but this is the Golden Frieza. Other Hasbro figure that we were able to get was this Luke Skywalker three pack. Again, this is one of those figures when you get on the line, and there's nothing else really left. You look on there, you know it's hard to get in and you don't want to waste the opportunity. You were able to grab this. When it came to actually picking up Funko Pops itself, um, if you guys see my last videos, you guys notice I'm buying my figures to take them out of the box. And because I was didn't want to get in a second bin, kind of had to decide what I was gonna go do with that. And uh, I did pick up just the few that I really wanted, the rest I got shared exclusives. The only one I missed out on was the up figure. Uh, everything else I was able to get that I was actually in search of, not there for hype. The only common figure that I actually purchased from San Diego Comic-Con was this Joker. This Joker Mezco. When I get into something, I get really, really addicted to something, and I really, really want to complete sets. So we have the Mezco Joker. Single jointed elbows, as we all have seen. Reason that happened is because of this. The Bat Signal Jim Gordon Mezco. I would say this was probably the rarest figure at the Comic Con. It was sold out Thursday. Sold out Thursday, you were not able to purchase one. The only way to purchase it was uh, through a lottery system and you must have had to get the first early passes because this was gone, absolutely gone right away. It didn't even get to Friday, probably didn't even get to Thursday afternoon. It was already sold out and gone. Um, I had somebody actually drop it off at the house I was staying uh, for 180, 180 bucks. For me, it was well worth it. Um, I'd rather pay that extra market value right then and there than wait it out. And maybe I get it for 150 down the road or I can get it for 220. But I'm in the hype for it now, and that's why I got it. I actually grabbed one of these uh, booklets. I'll probably give this away during a live stream, so make sure you follow me when I go live. We have a big pin, two pack. Um, when I got invited to the booth, I said, yes, I want to come by. And like I was mentioning about that one Mezco, DC, the entire time I was there, I was watching Gotham and I was trying to hype myself up for DC stuff. And I'm actually really enjoying the show and the series. So uh, I'm getting on my Batman train right now. Follow us up with two more Funko Pops. This is actually mine. Uh, the other one was actually Dan's and this is the Toucan and the Batman. Uh, 50 year anniversary, this exclusive to the exclusive booth. With this, you were able to get these three here. Um, you had to win the lottery to even get into this booth. So it was tough. These were event exclusives with this sticker. Um, I 
think I got the other ones online as well. Keep these in box, keep the other ones out of box, and so on. Huge shout out to uh, Sideshow Collectibles for having this San Diego Comic Con advanced version Sith Trooper. Um, I'm excited to unbox this and share this with you guys. Uh, this was my first time going to the booth and uh, meeting everybody. If I had to pick one figure from the entire con, it was going to be this right here. Uh, it is the four pack of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which include Shredder, Splinter, and two foot soldiers. It does come with more uh, accessories on the side. They're probably gonna make these either GameStop exclusive or a Target exclusive down the road, maybe in six months or could be even a year where they probably won't have the accessories, they'll just have the two figures, each one, because if you get the kind, you get a little bit more stuff, and you get a really cool box. I was able to get actually two of those. Uh, before I get to my last item, I believe it's the last item, let me show share with you guys some figures that I grabbed literally at the last minute. These are the mini epics from the Lord of Rings. I remember seeing this set of the first wave last year at San Diego Comic Con, and I really wasn't into anything but Funko Pops. I paid five for $100. I I couldn't say no. Uh, 20 bucks a piece? Yeah, I don't think there was tax on them. Unreal, this is going to be my replacement for my Funko Pops. Yeah, there's literally, there's no, I can't compare these figures to them. Uh, normally they go for $30 each. Uh, again, they had them for buy five for a hundred. Yeah, I couldn't help myself and I'm very satisfied with this piece instead of having two Balrogs or paying $100 or $60 for the glow in the dark Balrog. This thing is so much better than a Funko Pop in that sense. I'm gonna finish this video up with one extra piece that we were able to grab. You guys are follow my Instagram account, know what I'm talking about here. And it's this piece here. This is the Clockworth Orange number four that was originally released by Funko. There is a price tag on there, we paid Basically close to that price. Yes, there's nothing not I can say about it. Uh, this is again the Clockworth Orange, limited to 12 in the world. Um, I'm gonna have a complete video on why I picked this up and what I'm gonna be doing with it in the future. Um, you're only gonna see maybe two more videos ever with this thing and I'm gonna explain why coming soon. Now let's get into the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be for the Hasbro Sith Trooper. To enter in this giveaway, you're gonna have to tell me your favorite figure that I picked up from the Comic-Con, Lord of the Rings to this guy. That's up to you. Leave it in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. And lastly, you're gonna to have to go to Brooklyn Geek's Instagram and follow Brooklyn Geek and you're gonna to have to comment, thank you. I'm gonna have all the links, what photo to comment on, in the description or the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed this massive unboxing and haul video, really. This is literally the ultimate haul. You're never gonna get another one like this on Instagram, on YouTube or Instagram or any other social media. I've seen other people with toy hauls that, you know, they go a little bit insane as they buy 15 SH figure arts and 10 hot toys. Is that really? Whatever. Or people who go buy every single Funko Pop. If you bought every single Funko Pop at San Diego Comic Con, you were in it for one thing, and that's to make money. Yeah, I learned that over my years. See, why would I do that? I know back in the past it was a fiction, which is a whole new thing, so if people are going out there buying entire lots, you know something was up. And quit your waffling too, people. It isn't a good look. Boom!